Hello there guys, welcome back to Tax TV. thank you for joining as ever and as you can tell from the title, the Reds have made the 3rd, 3rd January transfer window signing, so far anyway, I hope, I hope there's a few more to come, um, we knew this one was sort of coming because we saw reports, everything, and we're just waiting for it to be announced really, finally all done, finally been announced, Today I just got the notification so I came straight up to talk to you guys about it. Um, uh, yeah, Michael Solbauer from Wolfsburger AC, another club of Gerard, um, another player from uh, Gerard Struber's former team. Uh, absolutely rinsing them, isn't it? Absolutely rinsing them. Now this player has got bags of experience in the Austrian Bundesliga. Now so to some fans I know that might not be enough. I know a lot of fans, myself included at times, feel that Championship experience is uh, the one that we should really look at. Nevertheless, this lad is 29, 29 years of age, um, and he comes with, as far as I'm, I'm aware, a big reputation of being a good, big, strong central defender, leader, and that's really good uh, traits of what we needed at the back. The back four, uh, well, at least the defensive line, has been absolutely abysmal. Um, in, in certain listen there's been games where we have defended well but that's been the main concern at the back and to actually finally get a deal done for a defender to come in um, at 29 years of age as well is uh, really really good and what we needed and it's finally nice to see that maybe people up in um, big offices are actually listening to us and know what we've needed um, from a long time a long time so delighted to get him on board not going to judge him we need to see him it is subject to international clearance so i'm not sure if we'll see him tomorrow at portsmouth but i'm hopefully we see him in the league the league's more important than anything else um so delighted that we got him over the line got the deal done uh listen again never heard of him have we but can't judge him can't judge them yet. They need a couple of games to be able to tell what they're all about. The lads never played in England before, like the other the other signings that we've made. Got to give him the chance. Uh, it's really nice to see 29 years of age come in. I, I wonder what's gone off there, whether this is a Gerard Struber influence or whether people on the board have actually woke up and realised that going into the Championship with such a young group of players is just... It's just a massive gamble, and it was. It's. It can't work. Uh, so having this lad there with bags of experience will be able to help the likes of Jordan Williams, help the likes of Clark Adore, uh help the the other centre half at the side of him. That's what it's all about, you know. Have a young centre half and one who we can learn off, who's been there, who knows the game, who's played uh, tons and bags of games for Wolfsburger AC. He's actually been there since 2010, so he's he's, he's left after a 10-year spell there. Good servant for them in my eyes. No knows Gerard obviously, um, and yeah, really, really, I, I'm, I'm overall positive. Obviously, like I said, we've never heard of the guy. It's hard to. I've, to tell and like Craig was saying yesterday it's hard to actually get excited with him because we don't know too much about him but you look into it you look at his game you look at the stats and everything like that you, that's all well and good but it's about seeing him actually on the football pitch on match day we can look at the stats and they might look excellent in in their league this is a totally different league we've got to remember that but I really do hope he adapts uh, quick he's got to adapt quickly um, so very very positive um, of the club to uh, to finally bring some age and experience in, uh, in 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 there, and I hope it's not the last signing. I hope there's a few more to come. I'm sure there will be. There's still a bit of time left in this transfer uh, transfer window, uh, so very very positive in it. Very positive. Like I said, a centre half now Bambo's out, and we don't know how long he's going to be. We needed one even when he were playing, so now. We could even look at maybe getting another. I don't want to push Boat out too much, where I'm like, but I, I think uh, the, I think another one is is also needed with Bamba because we just don't know how long he's going to be, and we've got to look at the fact that, um, you know that 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 area on the pitch has been, I wouldn't say it's been a uh, bad 
all season, but there's been so many goals that were probably avoidable. Some you can't, you've got to hold your hands up at times. Um, but at the back, that's you know that's the main line for keeping the ball out the back of the net. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping that this lad comes in and, and people and other players learn off him and stuff like that, because that's what it's about. And uh, this, this week, Gerard going back to Wolfsburg AC, shows that he clearly rates these players and he th- he believes that they'll make a difference to Barnsley Football Club. So if you trust Gerard, you've got and then if you're happy with everything that Harry's beat since he's been here, these players that he's bringing in, you've got to uh, you've got to admire. He's I believe he's not going to fetch these players over just for the sake of fetching them over. He rates them. They'll make a big, huge difference to the team, uh, the team morale overall, uh, everything like that. So, very, very delighted. Another Friday signing. There's not better than a Friday signing. Great, absolutely fantastic, and I wish him all the best and uh, hope it goes well for him. So, that hopefully might just help us out um, a little bit. But uh, I I feel like there's still a few more signings in areas that we need to address. Hopefully we do. Um, but let's just uh, appreciate, you know, that Michael's here. Give him all his best. So uh, here's a statement from the football club, which we always uh, re- uh, read out. Uh, this is what he's at. This is Gerard Struber on Michael. I know a lot about Michael, and he will be great for the team. He is exactly the player we need. He's been a captain at Wolfsburg AC for a long time and has plenty of first team experience at a good level. It was important uh, for me to have experience and add to our defence in this window. I am very happy that Michael is here in Barnsley. I know he will be a positive impact and help us over the next weeks. Uh, so there you go. That that clearly shows just how much Gerard admires him and rates him, so to speak. Now, he signed, a, uh, con- undisclosed, he signed on an undisclosed fee, a contract which goes up until 2022. Um, so, 20, yeah, as I said, 29 years of age. Um, 238 top flight appearances in Austria's Austria Bundesliga. Uh, also led his former side through the 2019-20 Europa League campaign facing the likes of AS Roma and Borussia Mönchengladbach. Um, so yeah, it's it is very. You look at that and you think, wow, playing against them sides. Uh, but obviously, this league doing it on a daily basis against top quality players, I earn, put I earn a players. Um, we'll see. But really happy. Finally, that we're going to twenty nine. Ain't old for a footballer and a centre half who knows the game, who, who's experienced. You know, just to de- he's got to adapt quickly to the championship. Uh, and uh, listen, every faith that he will, because Gerard Struber has said he really does like him, and I trust Gerard in bringing these right players through. And it's so nice that actually he's been allowed to get these players to come to the football club. It really is absolutely you can't not you can't knock it. It's brilliant that he's he's identifying players and he's getting them players, and that's how it always should be. So yes, welcome to Barnsley. Welcome to the journey. Uh, the adventure, uh, Michael. It's never dull in Barnsley. There's never a dull day in Barnsley. Thank you for choosing us, and I hope you make a big difference to the team. So, thank you for watching, guys. Hit the subscribe button if you've not already, and give us a like because it really does help the channel grow. We're almost at 5k. Thank you so much for that as well, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Come on, you Reds. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe to Tax TV. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. And we'll see you in the next one. You Reds.